Geeks. Tim Tibbetts with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to take a look at Bitdefender Free. You're going to download the program and you're going to run it. Once you do that, as you can see here on the screen, it's going to install. Once it's installed, it's going to unpack. Once it's unpacked and installed, you can log in, which is what I want to cover with you quickly here. It used to be with the Bitdefender stuff, you didn't have to log in. You had 30 days to log in. They've changed it now where you actually do have to log in to use the product. So it's a free account. There's no charge to it. So don't be too nervous about it. Uh, Bitdefender isn't exactly new to the game. They're typically, you can check uh, Google AV comparatives or many of the sites who compare antivirus month after month and you will find Bitdefender at the top. Maybe not a name that you know as well, but it's a solid consistent name in antivirus and their free program works well. Now you want to keep in mind with all these free programs, typically they're not as full featured as their pro versions. This is the whole purpose why they have the full featured programs. The free versions are usually considered pretty basic protection. So keep that in mind depending on what you want to do. You can check the or uncheck the anonymous usage. A lot of us uncheck it. It will share data otherwise, maybe help them figure out uh, viruses, etc. So, so we don't get too long. I'm going to get pause, let this thing finish downloading, and we'll show you around a little bit. Be right back. And once everything is completed, you will get this, as we mentioned, the not now or sign in. Uh, my experience, maybe yours will vary, was when I clicked the not now, um, it basically, uh, geez, yeah, we got it. Basically, uh, when I hit not now, it still wouldn't let me um, use it. So we're going to go ahead and sign in to Bitdefender. It only takes a second. I was actually able to create my account in no time whatsoever. Wait for this puppy to come up and create our even account, sign in. Nice and easy. Hold on a second. And for security purposes, I signed in without showing any of my information. And there we go. So we are installed and we are ready to run. So at this point, you can delete the file if you downloaded it. And we can start tinkering around with it. Or, for the most part, You've seen these before. Typically, I should have mentioned when you're running these antiviruses, another step is it has to update and often scan. So I could probably ignore this because, as you can see, here it comes. It's going to start um, updating. As you can see, you can drag or drop any file here. You can scan your system. And you come over here into your systems, whether you want to set up events, check your quarantine, set up exclusions for stuff that get flagged all the time, your account information, your different protection, what your version is, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So as mentioned, we were showing you before the exclusions. There's not going to be anything in here now. Same with the quarantine. There won't be anything in here now in the events. So we can shut that down and you can close this. And that's a nice thing about Bitdefenders. You're pretty much done. Uh, it's going to take you more time for me to show you. It could have took me five minutes to show you how to install it and do all these things as opposed to pretty much just running it, which is for the most part, set it and forget it again, because events is news from Bitdefender, quarantine stuff they found. So there's not too much in here to do. If you want to scan your system, leave it be. Doesn't much matter. You're pretty much done. So scan it anytime you want, set it, forget it, walk away. It's what a lot of people are looking for. I'm a big fan of Bitdefender. So uh, go ahead and give it a shot. I'll drop a link in the description of the YouTube video below. Click subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching. We really do appreciate it. See you next time.